as we celebrate our 70th anniversary in 2020. Sasol prides itself on being an international chemicals and energy company built on a foundation of intellectual and human capital. Harnessing this capital has enabled us to drive social investment as a catalyst for change, particularly in the areas of science, technology, engineering and mathematics education. To further leverage these innate capabilities, in 2008 we established the Sasol and Zalo Foundation. The teaching and learning of maths and science is very challenging, particularly in historically disadvantaged communities. Sasol was responding to this challenge in order to help lift the standard of maths and science in the education system. In its first decade, the foundation invested 630 million rand in building a legacy to realize meaningful and long-lasting impacts in STEM education. Our approach, grounded in research and collaboration with various stakeholders and education experts, has led to the delivery of robust, well-designed and sustainable programs. Epitomizing this approach are the 180 STEM learner and educator workbook titles we produced that have reached over 10 million learners across three continents. What is significant about it is how a corporation can fundamentally make a contribution to the way education material and education resources is distributed, not only nationally, now internationally. It has also fundamentally impacted how uh, the Department of Education um, distributes material and reaches every single child in every single school that it has to reach with minimal effort. Since 2014, we have taken the world of science to far-flung schools in the most remote parts of the country through nine mobile science laboratories. So the mobile lab gives those students a chance to get into learning through touching and seeing and experimenting uh, in their communities and we believe in a small way, Sasol through mobile labs have contributed towards the real upliftment of the teaching and learning of maths and science. Recognizing that artisans are critical to building our economy, the foundation developed a network of five technical schools of excellence. We developed five technical schools, which we wanted to use them as model schools, um, so that they can be replicated throughout the whole education system. Increasing access to quality education for performing yet disadvantaged students is a cornerstone of the Foundation's work, comprising not only monetary but also psychosocial support to deliver high study completion rates among students. The Foundation has awarded over 1,400 bursaries and fellowships in its first decade. In 2016, the Foundation began donating critical research equipment to support under-resourced institutions, helping to make them attractive and competitive. The Foundation is investing in historically disadvantaged universities. We invest in uh, PhD students focusing on uh, research. Not only that, we also provide these universities with the capacity, the technology for these students to be able to make uh, their research. While the Foundation reached the end of its first decade in 2018, its rich legacy lives on, renamed the Sasol Foundation. It now operates under an enhanced mandate, extending to the full education life cycle from early childhood education to work readiness, employment and entrepreneurship. We celebrate the 10 years of the Sasol Inzalo Foundation in, in this 70th year of Sasol's existence. It's part of the contribution Sasol made and has been making for seven decades of its existence. As the fourth industrial revolution drives change, enabled by extraordinary technological advances, the Foundation will ensure our programs continue to remain relevant for the future world of work, while remaining true to our purpose, delivering meaningful and long-lasting impacts in STEM education. <laughs>